Hey, how's it going? You're probably confused about abstract classes right now, which is why you clicked this video, but I'm here to tell you that you will not regret that because we're gonna walk through abstract classes and get it working for you. Because I know for me, abstract classes were pretty confusing. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't know what abstract meant when I learned him. Well, my name's Alex, I make a Java tutorial on this channel every single week. So if you're new here and you might be interested in seeing that, then please consider subscribing. So let's start getting an abstract class here by going to File, New Java Project. Call it something like Abstraction. And then hit Finish. And on the source folder, go into New Class. And we'll call it Abstract Tutorial. Hit this main method checkbox and then hit Finish. An abstract class is basically a bunch of variables and methods that can be used to create other classes. So here we can make an abstract class by doing abstract class, name it something like dog. And what are some values for a dog? Well, we could have like breed or something. And what can a dog do? Well, we could say bark. We'll have it be a normal method and we'll actually implement it too. So we could say, public void bark method will print out bark, like that. So we can try to use this abstract class by doing dog d equals new dog, and then trying to use it just like any other class, a dot bark. But it's looking like we've got some red underlines, and let's see what the error is. Cannot instantiate the type dog. If this was a regular class, class dog, then you would see the underlines go away and we could do d.bark and that would call it bark. But as soon as we turn this into an abstract class, we cannot use it. That's because you can't use an abstract class like a regular class. An abstract class helps make regular classes that you use there. So we can create um, a new class, class Chihuahua, Chihuahua class, okay? And say extends dog. So now we can use these through the Chihuahua. <laughs> so we could say Chihuahua D equals new Chihuahua. And I'll name it C for Chihuahua. And now if we do that, it'll work. Because now the Chihuahua object is an extension of dog. So if it's an extension, then it already has what the dog comes with and a little more. We just decided not to add anything. So the things it already comes with is a breed and a bark. So we could also print out c.breed if we wanted to. This is null because we're not setting it or using it yet. And let's actually get rid of that together because this is the most important part about abstract classes in Java. It's abstract methods. I'll close this up so we can see everything a little better. An abstract method is a method that isn't implemented yet. So implemented means you put code inside the curly braces. We're gonna make an abstract method, which means we're not gonna put code inside the curly braces. So it's the same as before public, except we add this new keyword abstract. Public abstract void bark. So we wanna do it this way. Actually, we'll change it to poop, poop. Now we get a red underline under chihuahua because it needs to now have the poop method. Since we're extending it, we don't have to add the bark because it's already implemented here. There's already code, it knows what to do. But now we have this abstract method which doesn't know what to do when you call it. So we have to say what it does when you call it. So we can now say public void poop. We want to print out dog pooped. Okay, so now if we do c.bark and c.poop, then we'll see both of those messages. So Chihuahua knows how to bark because it extends dog. It knows everything inside of here, which is why we can call chihuahua.bark. It also knows 
that it needs to poop, but it doesn't know what to do since it's not implemented. And that's what an abstract method is. It's abstract. It's an idea. It has to have the poop method, but it doesn't know what to do. So you need to implement it, which just means make the method poop and put code in it. And that's why it works. We could get rid of this abstract method and just add it like this. So if we ran it, it would still work. Then you'd be like, well, why do we even have that abstract method in the first place here? Well, abstract classes help us organize what a dog should have. What should this class be able to do? So we can just list out and make sure, make 100% sure that every single dog has to have this method. It might be different for other dogs, so that's why we make it abstract. So each specific dog can poop a little differently <laughs> or bark a little differently. Basically, it's saying you have to implement your own poop method, but all dogs, all these dogs will bark the same is, is what this example is. So how is this different than an interface? An interface is like this. You type interface and say dog interface, for example. An interface is just a list of variables and methods too. So we could have bark and poop, would poop. But we don't have to put abstract here. We can, but an interface assumes that all of them will be abstract, which means unimplemented here. If we tried to implement it here, just like in the abstract class, if we tried to do that inside of an interface, it wouldn't work because, look at the message here, it says abstract methods do not specify a body. Why is that message showing up here when the exact same code is right here? It's because an interface assumes that all the methods are abstract, which means not implemented. There's no code inside. It's just a list. But an abstract class is different because you can have a list of methods and ones that are already implemented. So that's the huge difference between interfaces and abstract classes. You can't have any implemented methods inside of an interface, but you can have both abstract methods and implemented methods inside of an abstract class. Woo, that is a lot of weird words that only programming nerds know. I really hope it makes sense to you though. If we want to use the dog interface instead of an abstract method, we would have to type dog interface and change this from extends to implements because we're implementing the methods from the interface because we know that we're not extending it because extending means adding on to previously implemented methods, if that makes sense. We're implementing all the methods in the interface, but we're extending what's already there and also maybe implementing what's in the dog abstract class. Let me know if this was helpful. I wish you the best on your project. Please let me know if there's anything I can improve on or if I didn't explain correctly. Thank you, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.